and then courtesy Achaia was known as one of the probably just a matter of opinion the greatest interview in the world okay really? yeah and he had a great personality he was an interesting person to talk to and believe it or not my brother was having trouble with his interviews and he came to me for help and this is before we got to the maritimes okay and he says yeah i'm not doing good with my interviews and i said i think you're doing good he says no i need some help i said well you your name is savage you wrestle like a savage you got hair like a savage everything about you is savage of all the wrestlers that you've seen who was the greatest savage type interview that you admired let's steal it and he says i think it's a cross between pampero furpo and courtesy Ikea. and these were guys that we met in hawaii right now there was a bumper on their tv show that's what they play constantly like 30 times a day yeah and and um pampero furpo the wild bull of the pampas with yeah. hair this big yeah. and a big beard yeah and he says and don't forget he is armenian from argentina so he's got a very unusual accent right you couldn't imitate it okay he goes you are the watching number one station in hawaii Roar, yeah uh, i said randy remember when he did that 100 times a day let's hear you read that same thing he goes you are watching the number one station in hawaii Ooh, yeah and i went whoa i said what's the, what's the matter i said that's brand new money and then i promise you he spent the next three months in the bathroom mirror right working on his interview working on his interview and by the time he got out of there he went from worst to first and now the only thing i am so glad looking back his interview is so much fun to imitate everybody has a macho man imitation everybody does why didn't somebody take that and go to new york and and then randy would be the the uh, imposter right yeah. see what i mean but nobody did it and when randy first got to new york oh yeah here's the he already had it down you know yeah. what i mean yeah and um actually i remember your father telling randy how to get over and he says call them fish eaters <laughs> and there was a guy named bill mccullough he was the announcer yes yes is he still alive um uh, I'm not sure. He said, yeah, Bill McCullough, here's the deal. You know, the people from the Maritimes, they're all alike, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, I know what you're trying to tell. If you know what I'm trying to tell you, they're just a bunch of fish eaters. That's all they are. That's all they are. And my God, did he get over? Really? Like, oh, my God. You know, and it's like, <laughs> just because Emil says, holy Jesus Christ, what, 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 what would you tell them uh, the, the fish eaters? And, <laughs> and, and so Randy made the fish eater interview. Wow. Yeah, and uh, hey, uh, would this impress you? I used to buy the bills, the boats, and I used to buy the sales. <laughs> I used to buy the catch of the fish. Sends them home. Oh, the the Hit your partner, Sally Brown. Hit your partner, Sally Tabo. Hit your partner, Sally Brown. We'll go to Gate Morton's Harbor all around the circle. And I got five more verses, but you don't want to hear them. <laughs> but.